I've never actually heard anyone say it, so I'm just trying something. I'm figuring maybe that's the right way of saying it. Oh, there you are. Christ, you're huge. This cat didn't skip, f uh, you know, f you know, upper torso day. Like my God, it's built. Paralysis. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm a paraplegiorino. Dead nerves are sometimes preventing the execution of actions. I was wondering, I thought it was someone was healing me or some such. I think it was just the paralysis effect wearing off. Actually, you know what? Just teleport. I do like the, uh, the company banner on the side. For coin and country. True altruists. Now I'll pop the over to what Hawker's alley in a mo and see how well things have gone there. Might have made a bit of cash. Though Marauder is renowned for the raw destructive power, Fur focused my energies on developing effective stratagems. The doctrine of overwhelming force that many follow has not always been the successful as you see. Ancient Nim, in particular, is said to have been defend uh, is said to have defended itself from numerous invasions, despite possessing only token force of mariners and mages. Indeed, I believe there is much we can learn by studying the military tactics of old. I hope one day to persuade my brethren of this fact, so that we might grow as an organization. Indeed, raw brute power can only get you so far. If you, with with strategy, you can accomplish just as much with less. So yeah, I've been in contact with Rayfred, and he had not but praise for you, Drumcren. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There is, well, there is one more task I would have you complete this day. Task will demonstrate you, for you just how strong you've become. Respo report to Skapfergren, where he waits uh, on the bank of the A Ageless River, and he shall help you unveil the on top power of your axe. Middle of Noska. Isn't. Yeah, that's here. Alright, um. Fine, fine. I was hoping to just kind of turn that in and leave it at that, but clearly that's not an option. In that case, we'll pop down to the lower decks and um, out there. I kind of wish I could just jump down and you know swim over or some such, but no, the game is much more um, restrained in what you can do. It's one reason I like WoW. You can just fling yourself off the edge and divine shield out. Or the uh, ice block, or what have you. This is make reminding me of uh, Dark Chronicles or Dark Cloud Two in some places. It is a sequel, I do believe, to you know the original Dark Cloud. So Dark Cloud Two, I think, is a more appropriate name if that is indeed the case. It's seemingly set in the same universe, but. I, I swear I remember seeing some things that are like almost implying, like I was reading about it online, and some things that are almost implying that it was a prequel, and not, and a sequel, or some such. But yeah, I think the common thing is uh, it's a sequel. Just because it has two after it doesn't necessarily mean it is a sequel. Look at Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is a prequel, set many years before it. Same with Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Solid 4 takes place many, many dec well, decades after either of them. Many, many decades. Where is even the quest? Okay, it's down there. I'll worry about that at some stage, I'm sure. I've kind of went a bit too far. I always do that. Uh, we'll just head over here. I'm so concerned about that. 
compared to flying fish, but that just takes the fucking cake. You know this saying, um, you, you can, um, you know this saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too. What's the point in having a cake if you don't eat it? Uh, or how are you going to eat a cake you don't have? Mm-hmm. Non-existent cake, just like Mama used to make. Uh. Recording locally, 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 locally. Alright, continuing. Hopefully the audio is fine. Hi, lad. I know why you're here. And after seeing this big old boulder, I wager you know why you're here, too. Now, my rock's a bit more of a challenge than those pebbles Rotgeim had you training on. Your swing must have been brutal to crack... It must... Must needs be brutal to crack this beauty. Impossible, you say? Ha! Uh, we Rosen wouldn't send you out here if you didn't think you capable. So, use brutal swing to destroy the immovable boulder. Unmovable boulder. Nice. Ha! Would you look at that? And then your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you. Beautiful. That was nice and easy. I'm so excited. To be honest, though, I shouldn't get my hopes up too much. I might be able to unlock uh, Dragoon for a while, but it's to have the preparation done. So once I can, can get it, I can get it. Like, I might be able to get it straight away, well, like, once I've finished the uh, Lancer quest. Or I might have to wait ten years to do it. I have no idea. It's exciting. I knew you'd re I knew you'd return before long. The crack and the deafening crack of Shattering Boulder reached me even here. Th this feat of strength deserves recognition, and you shall have it in the form of a new technique. Adopted and perfected by our guild forebears, the Tomahawk Troll was first devised by Pyrus as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Though we primarily focus on close, quarter, close quarters combat, we no doubt, no doubt find that having a powerful range strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, Dromkaren, but he hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak mastery you seek, only steadied and measured ascent. I already have one of all of them. I've just put them on, so I'll take that. Bit of extra cash when I can be bothered to sell them. I'll just build up a nice stack. Huzzah! My guy just ends up looking so dopey. And I've seen some stripperific armor later on. Maybe, it, probably just for the girls, but considering what I've seen drama here in, I wouldn't be surprised if it was for guys too. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to New Gardenia. <sighs> Speaking of stripperific, I should uh, go back to my Mordheim playthrough. Nothing stripperific in that, but um, I do have a Captain Crotch Bulge. I call him that because he is stitching on his pants that really emphasizes his crotch. Like, seriously, it emphasizes. Uh, ah, I uh, just cause <laughs> that's how they decided to des design them, and such, uh, and so Crotch Bulge was born. All right, uh, since I'll be passing through here, I'll uh, poke my head into the, uh, into the market. Well, uh, over to the summoning bell. I can get more uh, retainers, but only if I pay real money for them. And at, at present, there's no real point in me getting extra retainers because I can't exactly send them all out for jobs. Um, I don't have enough venture coins. And so I would, otherwise I can only sell, get them to sell stuff on the auction house. I'm not really doing too much of that. So, you know, no point. Ooh, he's now only selling nine. Damn, he's got a bit on him. Port, yes. Yeah, yeah. There we go. 
Okay, he's got a bit on him. I'll leave it there, and I will trust items. And let's have a look. And, you know, I'll just be selling off all the different little bit of reagents and whatnot that I have. As I don't think I'll be using them altogether too much. Um, to be honest with you. I haven't really been focusing too much on crafting reagents, you see. Uh, so... I'm on well, crafting, so I don't really think I'll be too pushed about this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There goes that. Uh, sell things in the market. Put it for sale. Yes. Put for sale, yes. And this will just take a moment. Since I'm ch paying, charging so little for them, I won't, won't be paying any tax, so that's something. But at the same time, I'm paying so little on, on them, you know, I'll be getting next to nothing anyway. So, you know, it's... I wouldn't mind paying tax if I was actually getting, a, you know, an ounce of money for it. Yeah, I should... <sighs> That's getting irritating. Also, no wonder the guy has so much on him. Remember, I also put all that material on him. That's what's sold. Okay. Not this stuff. But if material is what's selling... Then I have no problem obliging. Wait. Uh huh. And the other guy. Keep forgetting to right click. And venture report. Five bronze pieces and uh, two bat fangs. And he's now level uh, nine. And I got the achievement. Can someone else do it? One, I believe. Or, yeah, can someone else do it? One. Brilliant. Confirm. Um, sign venture. Hunting. Um, go get him to get some of these. Sure, go get that. Uh, take an hour. No. You know what? Oh my god. Uh, report. Yes. Yes. No. <sighs> Misclicking. Blacklist. Yes. Field exploration. This one. Yes. There we go. And no, I'm not interested. Alright, um, let's head on up here. Proof of Might. Not the quest I was hoping for, but whatever. There's a particular quest you have to do before you can do a Dragoon thing, but maybe we'll get that right after this one. I'll have to wait and see. Master Wayne would set you one final trial. Then I'll guess. Free bottle ties. I have no idea how you say this. Full bottomize. Full bottomize. Yeah, we'll bottomize. We'll, we'll just call it that. Ah, Drum Karen. Ever a sight for sore eyes. By your return, I take it you're ready for the final trial. Very well. Let us. Uh, uh, Edward. Stark. Guildmaster Yawain. 
You are wounded. What has happened? We were attacked by a dusk white lancer as we trained in the forest. He he uh, he was he was impossibly strong, a demon. He kept screaming something about teaching us true courage. No, not him, not Falquis. We were in the northwest corner of the central shroud when it happened. I was able to get away, but the others. You must help the others. Ugh. Be strong, man. I'm sorry, Drum Kren. The trial must wait. Pray make haste to the central shroud and help your comrades. Drum Kren, should Falquis force your hand, do what must be done. Twelve speed, uh, twelve speed you on your way. What the fuck has he got himself up to now? I, I guess, you know, losing really broke him. It certainly seems so. Talk about. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. All right then. Actually, out of curiosity, did I see a quest around here? Or maybe I just eyeballed the other one and miss ID the icon. Yeah, I seem to have. All right. That's fine then. Um, I'm just curious as to where the um, other questie is. Uh, you know, the little gorilla. Uh, the companion one. There we go. Yeah, I'm just curious as to where that one is. It's somewhere here. Ah, yes. That, that was one I eyeballed earlier. Yes. Kind of interesting, they just used the route to help as a bridge. Well, as a, a ramp up here. Eh, if it works, it works. It's a White Wolf Gate. Huh. Can't help but think of Grot. Though apparently, someone other character has the same nickname as him. Um, some people were alleging he was, the author was a little too inspired by it. I don't know whether that's true or not. It was people have been alleging. Uh, people say plenty of things. Whether they're true or not is another thing. But uh, Eldrick, I think it's called. No, uh, not Eldrick. Uh, Eldred. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, it's some other older fancy series. Um, I remember uh, Blind Guardian did a song, Tailorn. T A. R is not Tailorn. Oh, I can't remember it. I remember Void was in the title. It's Tailorn and in brackets into the Void or some such. Ah. But yeah, it's uh, that. Uh, people are alleging certain things. Either way, I also actually end up thinking of the people who behind uh, you know, Vampire the Masquerade. They're called White Wolf, White Wolf Games. Sure. Judy calls. I'll tap for one second. Yes, all as well. Help. For the love of the twelve, help me. Christ. De de defeat the Lindworms. Teban the Blunt. Help me, please. Damn, I kind of screwed up that combo. Focus on him. Don't think we've actually run into this guy before. Come on. Barret. 